Hey to everyone on my time, this is WWE Supercard and welcome to another episode. Unfortunately, I have had a couple of days of work. It is Easter weekend, so I'm going to say happy Easter to everyone. Those of you who celebrate, I hope you have a good time. It's a bank holiday here. It's a long weekend, Friday and Monday off for most people. Unfortunately, I am, well, I have worked Friday and working Monday. So, yeah, not the best weekend for me but there is a little bit to report on now before we go any further i want to thank each and every one of you who has subscribed to my channel so far thank you very much i have hit the 500 mark and as a result as promised i am going to be doing the giveaway okay now this giveaway just to let you know because i have work on monday and tuesday and i tend to not really do too many videos on the days i work because my hours can be long I will be doing the giveaway on the Wednesday or the Thursday, okay? So, one of those two days, I'm going to do the videos for all the games. And out will come the specific video for each game on the over the course of Wednesday and Thursday. And I'll give people up until the Sunday where the announcements will be made for the winners, okay? So, that's just a little pre-warning. Now, there's some bad news for me, but some good news for you guys. Now, when I advertised this video, my idea was to give people around 6,500 credits or so, so they could get a couple of packs and stuff, and that was kind of reward I wanted to give. However, with iTunes and that, and with Google Play, they because they do their gift cards in predetermined amounts, uh, if I were to get too small a denomination, unless I go and buy... Pretty much three different gift cards for five, ten, and twenty-five pounds. Then I'm gonna struggle to be able to do that. So, in a switch of ideas, which will make it good for you guys, I am in fact going to be offering a fifty-pound voucher in WWE Supercard. It will cross all three games, but for those of you who only play WWE Supercard or are interested in getting that, that voucher, as long as you obviously can deposit via either Google Play or via iTunes, and I'm going to assume the majority of people can, then you are legible to get this reward. Okay, so just to reiterate, it will be a £50 gift card up for grabs. Now... I do want to stress that I am not sponsored to play any of these games. It's all my own money invested. So there's no kind of con here. Nobody else has given me these vouchers to give to you guys or anything like that. So as I said, it's just my treat to say thank you. Now, the re the reward is a decent reward. I mean, it's going to be £50 worth, obviously, depending on where you're from. So if you're in the States, what I'll do is I will send you the code... Uh, you don't have to be a UK person, obviously you're going to have to purchase the vouchers over here, but I will send the code, I'll get in contact with you, uh, more details will come on Sunday about that, and then you can deposit it onto your account and spend the credits how you like, but I would like people, if you do spend them on packs, to please let me know so I can obviously then inform other people how you got on, and then once we get to the next milestone, um, I can think about what else to do as a reward. But just so you know, you have to be a subscriber, okay? So for those of you maybe who just watch the videos now and again, I will be checking. So if you're not a subscriber, there will be T's and C's as well, mainly that you could only enter once and it'll be your first entry that is counted, okay? So if you put an entry then you want to replace later, I'm going to do comments from um, oldest first. Once I've seen you down, all the people who get the correct answer, I'll make a note of, I will then check... Uh, once I will do the draw, it'll be a random number number generator draw live on cam on the Sunday to pick the winner. And then I'll check that person is definitely a subscriber. If the person isn't a, a subscriber, then we will re-go again and go to the next person. Okay, so you do need to be a subscriber to win. Apart from that though, that's that's the only the only T's and C's. Anyway, with that said, we'll go back to what's going on here. I did get John Cena. Once again, I waited right towards the end. Done him with about 35 minutes to go in the event. Now, these flash events, in my opinion, these are better than regular events. I hope that they bring in flash events over the standard events because they could do more flash events and 
they could replace the bog standard long events. There is no reason for the events to go over four days. What they should do is bring a completely new game mode to play, introduce flash events, and then team events as well. So, for example, the team event could last four days, and then they run two flash events during the week. Maybe one at the beginning of the week, one middle towards the end of the week. So maybe a flash event Monday to Tuesday, a flash event, say, Friday, Saturday, or something like that, Thursday, you know, Saturday, Sunday, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. And then people get their cards that way. And as a result, you're not sat there for your whole weekend tapping away at your phone. I think that would be the, be the best thing to do. But they're unlikely to do that because they probably won't make as money out of these flash events um, in the long term as they would do having people consistently playing the regular four-day events and then also having flash events or team events in there now with that john cena haven't probed him up yet this one's this card here that i've just got has had no games nothing i've just entered the king of the ring to see what happens because i'm going to try and get myself towards the final see if i can get into the actual um final itself and see if wrestlemania teardrops because i think we are just around the corner from that you see there's another flash event coming up this easter sunday starts in just under 12 hours time it's gonna be triple h versus roman reigns click on rewards compare the two cards you've got up versus down arrow roman reigns says he's mate dean ambrose while triple h has brock lesnar now brock lesnar is a far better survivor card than dean ambrose yet roman reigns is probably going to be the more preferred card as he has over 800 in every single stat which is going to make him easily the best all-round card in the game now as you can see here in these ranks you can get two of the cards so two triple h or two roman reigns for the top one to five uh, there's still two rewards there for top 75 two rewards for the top 200 and two rewards for the top 550 so again the top 550 in a flash basically pcc which would be a 40 hour event you get a pro survivor card survivor event card now for myself i'm not going to be going for this because the number of points you're going to need to get this card is going to be ridiculous also a single um event card is going to be no use for me so what i'm probably going to do probably going to do i'm probably going to go for triple h and i'm going to see if i can finish in this rank or this rank here so basically the top 3550 play for around there try and get a pro brock lesnar because i don't have a brock yet he is up, he, or he basically up there as the joint kind of like best card in the tier and I would still find some use for him in my deck at the moment. So I'm going to probably go for that. And the reason I'm going to do that, I'll just go down for the sub rewards for you. He's also got Kofi Kingston and Sheamus. And then Stardust and The Miz. So uh, I I think for all the hardcore grinders, Roman Reigns is going to be the, the carrot. But for the casual players, Brock Lesnar and probably probably i don't really know i have kofi and sheamus i think sheamus has been logging me more before so maybe sheamus will be uh, more attractive to some people but definitely the survival card brock lesnar is going to be better than the dean ambrose but for myself i'm going to come back to the same idea that exhibition i've played over sixteen thousand games now at seventeen thousand. Uh, 500 you get a random diva so during this pcc i will not want to play more than basically 13 400 games so even if i put titles on that get me 13,000 points if i won them all now i'd assume 13,000 points would be enough to get the pro um because it's only a two-day event i'd guess that would probably should get you in the top 550 However, I do have work on Monday, and I this game starts late on Sunday, so I'm not going to commit my whole Sunday and then Monday before work and then go to work tired and have to work Tuesday as well just to get this card. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably play it. I'll use the event to train up some cards and play, 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 get myself close to 1750, but I think that, or 17,500 even, I think that the new tier is just around the corner okay now believe it or not that new tier has to be just around the corner and the reason why i say that is because they have now given us 
two event pros in a week okay they're giving out and we can scroll down to show this they've been giving out divas for fun in the rewards and the, in the other other um previous road to glory with daniel bryan you had like brie bella uh, and then you had a i think it was a it was epic nikki bella and that we've now got a survivor nikki bella has come out as a reward they're giving you top tier divas they're giving us event multiple event pros in a week okay so we've got a john cena pro and we'll have a triple h or a roman remains basically within the course of a week come the end of monday uh, monday to monday kind of thing there'll be two event pros out there that people could have got as a result that makes me believe that wrestlemania coming up next weekend on the sunday wrestlemania tier will be released before then i think that everything is geared up for that if and if by some miracle it is not released next weekend it will be released just after the event i think on the monday tuesday whatever and giving up there but it makes it makes perfect sense at the moment with the way that they've done the game that they will release wrestlemania tier just before wrestlemania and try to make a big hype over that weekend now there was talk that they might do it this weekend with it being easter and stuff to try and get people involved in the game but that's obviously where the flash events have come in uh, with people having time off now time off school time off work everything you know bank holiday in the uk for example is a good time uh, obviously other places you won't necessarily have the same bank holidays but it is still easter and leading up to that wrestlemania finale they're going to want to drop that, I reckon, straight away before to try and get people with all the hype. And then they'll do a WrestleMania event for the WrestleMania weekend and tie it in all together. That's what I reckon is going to happen. So I think, although Yes Roman Reigns, for example, would be, if you got that card, would be the best card in your deck. And will be the best card for a little while. As soon as WrestleMania hits, that's it. WrestleMania event pros will be coming out. And any, the first WrestleMania event pro will kill roman reigns okay that's just a fact it's the same happened in survivor tier once that was released any legendary pro absolute sorry any legendary event pro so take those del rios rybacks any of those undertakers they get murdered by a by the survivor pro so as soon as wrestlemania comes out we get that first wrestlemania event it will be a card i can get when survivor tier was out i wasn't high enough so i missed out on roman reigns i missed out on the undertaker i've only been able to start collecting them you know more recently now I can go, yes, Roman, bang, or not Roman, so yes, whoever it's going to be, for example, say it's, I don't know, Undertaker and Shane, or Brock and Dean Ambrose, or whoever they go for, yes, I can win you, and I can get that done, and bang, I'll have a card which can beat Roman Reigns. Although Roman Reigns will still have a place in my deck for quite a while, I'm offsetting that with the ability to pull... A WrestleMania Diva card extremely early on in the tier. So I'll get the WrestleMania freebie for being in WrestleMania tier when it drops. And shortly after, I will get a WrestleMania Diva as well. And I think that is going to be more, hold its weight in gold more than the Roman Reigns card personally. So that's going to be my plan. Now, with that said, oops, let me to go back very quickly to end off the video. I did get a King of the Ring reward recently, which I won. And I have a, another pool to show you. In fact, I have two pools, I believe. I think it's a King of the Ring and two pools. Um, or was it just a... I can't remember. It might have just been... Hmm. Anyway, as you can see here, I have a second untake. I can't remember if he... Was he a reward? No, we had... We had Cesaro and... Nikki Bella as the recent Survivor rewards. I'm not too sure. I must have got Undertaker not too long ago then from a... I think Undertaker was my was Undertaker maybe my fifteen thousand game reward. I can't remember. I think Undertaker's maybe my fifteen thousand game reward. So I've got him ready. Haven't done his tokens, but he's ready to pro. Um, I can also show you before we carry on. I have got my Brie Bella done now. Now she's basically done. This is how I have done her stats. As you can see, I have balanced her out a bit. Her power, I sacrificed a little more because I wanted to make sure both the speed and the charisma did hit the 3000 mark and obviously gone for toughness a lot of the people would have gone speed charisma toughness I did put a token over into her power early on just to make sure that she is a little bit better than the standard standard breeze so without her procking she can beat the majority of 
in fact, yeah, if without a proccing, basically, she beats all the Survivor Divas. However, if someone procs, say, for example, Nikki Bella, Nikki Bella will beat her because her power and toughness will be better. Um, a Survivor, Nikki Bella, proc, if especially the person's only put the tokens in power and toughness, is going to beat Brie. So she isn't bulletproof or Brie proof, but Speed and Charisma's basically got her locked against any of those people toughness is pretty much locked as well it's just the power where she could could falter and but i'm pretty happy with that at the moment as i said she's there until uh, she'll probably there for the majority of wrestlemania tier because it's gonna be hard to get those divas but with that said uh we've got john cena here the first one who's almost finished i'm on the way to work him up we've got a second one to go we've got cesaro but we also got a King of the Ring reward, which is, uh, here we go, Stinger, so Sting, he's not finished as yet, nope, Sting was my most recent King of the Ring reward, my first Sting, I changed the picture here, I don't really like the, the more, should we say, current Sting, I like this old retro Sting, reminds me a bit more of WCW kind of time, and if we move on a little bit, I've got another board pool, and a really, really interesting board pool, here we go. Becky Lynch, you can see again from the combinables, I got myself a second Becky Lynch. That's going to be my second Diva Pro just before we go to WrestleMania tier. And that is huge for me because what it means is I can now, if I go to Divas, I can show you, I can pair up both Sasha Banks and Brie Bella to get the compatible tags, as you can see. And that's going to give me a awesome Diva tag team. And I also have a single Diva Pro, which means, yes, Becky Lynch isn't the best Diva in the game. But depending who I'm up against, especially if I don't have two Diva Pros, I can always swap Becky around with Brie, put Brie as a single. Okay, they'll have the incompatibility, uh, which will re reduce 5% of their overall stats. But if I'm against somebody who doesn't have a decent Diva tag as well, they can I could win the single and the tag. If not, then if it's... Either Speed of Charisma, because that's basically going to lump her in Speed and Charisma. Um, then she still has a chance to win if she procs. So, really, really happy with that. That's what i got to work on. So, during this PCC, I'm going to be playing those games. You know, I'll be using the energies that I get to keep this King of the Ring going, see how that goes. Um, and that's going to be my, should we say, my thoughts for... Moving forward, wait for WrestleMania tier, get that Diva reward, get that free reward, get into a King of the Ring, try and get some WrestleMania cards early, maybe do some pack openings myself, and make sure I have that money in the account to get you guys that iTunes or Google Play reward. So anyway, thank you for watching this. It's been a bit longer, so it's just going over a few things and explaining that the giveaway is coming. Stress again, Wednesday or Thursday, this forthcoming week will be... The announcement of it will be the question, everything to look out for. And on the Sunday, WrestleMania Day itself will be the day that I will do the announcements, do it live on cam. I know what I'm going to do and I will also explain more on those days, okay? So thank you very much again for all your support and watching me and for your comments and your helps and your likes. And I just want to say, have a very happy Easter. If I don't do another video before Wednesday, I will Probably try to, depending how I'm doing this event. I look forward to seeing you Wednesday for that giveaway video. Have a good weekend, people. I'll see you all soon.